Uh, hi, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Hussein Karimboy. I'm one of the programmers here at Sundance Film Festival. It's great to be here and meet with you all and uh, talk a bit today. Uh, I'm here because I love the idea of technology and digital media and film coming together. It isn't talked about enough, it isn't uh, acknowledged enough, and it's not limited only to Tinder. As many of you think, that's how we get our films and our casts. It's not just Tinder, it's far deeper than that. Um, I want to talk a bit about the relationship between film and digital media uh, in a much deeper way, deeper than you'd find on Tinder anyway. Um, I am a mostly, I, I, I program docs mostly at Sundance. And I've seen doc filmmakers uh, em embrace new technology and film for a long time. So 50 years ago when cameras were the size of a Prius and they became handheld, uh, it was doc filmmakers that went out into the streets and filmed our world in a whole new way and made us look at story in a very creative new, new way. Uh, when film went digital, you had Steve James who made Hoop Dreams that showed us how dreams can change in a landscape that's in a, in a way that, sorry. Uh, it, so Steve James made Hoop Dreams and showed us how dreams change in a society that was massively in flux. Uh, more recently, we've had Kickstarter. Doc filmmakers really em embraced that first. And with streaming, documentary is one of their hugest hits and earliest hits. Um, but the point of it is that with the help of technology, the economics go down and the audience reach goes way up. The, the kinds of people you, you, can, you can reach with your stories, the class of people, the diversity of people changes and that makes your work richer. The speed at which is, you can reach a story changes as well. And, and the tools that are around help get what's in your head onto the screen in a, in, in a whole new way. Um, I'm very happy with events like this happening at the festival. Um, it means that it offers filmmakers new opportunities to make a living and keeps independent directors independent. But what's really great is this is happening right now. This moment is fantastic. We're having a real, uh, a real incredible time when it comes to digital filmmaking and media and story with the advent of virtual reality. Uh, VR is kind of killing it right now. For those of you who haven't tried it, you have to kind of put it on to feel it, to know what, what, what's, what's happening in that. But uh, when you put it on, you see that it's actually changing the very language of film. Uh, f film is, is known to compress and condense human experience and emotion and life into sequences, into, into edits. But virtual reality just blows that wide open. It helps us dream. And dream is a very deep human need, I think, which is why VR is becoming so, so popular so quickly. Um, I encourage you all to check out the VR uh, show we have here. It, it's fantastic. Um, when you, uh, sorry, film and art, for that matter, does something that's almost impossible. It lets us walk in someone else's shoes for a few, a few minutes, for a few hours. And VR does that very, very well. It lets you escape into a whole new world. You can play with dolphins, you can be in a war zone, you can, uh, you can be in an actual game, and this is very, very exciting for me beyond words. Uh, one of my favorite directors, John Acomfra from the UK, said a great thing. He said, a, a crisis in storytelling is a crisis in society. And that's like more true now than ever in, in the past. And it comes on to artists and to filmmakers to find the humanity in the chaos that's all around us. We, it, it's, it's the artist that makes sense of, of, of this pain that's, that's happening in the world and, and, and that is constant. You give us meaning by revealing what's happening inside of us. Story has been at the very heart of Sundance Film Festival for a very long time. So the festival was one thing, but it's only one part of the Institute. And the Institute has been around for over 30 years, and it's helped uh, people, it's helped emerging artists connect with, uh, with their own voices in theater, in music, in sound, in film, in episodic TV. Uh, and, we, and we hook up emerging directors with established ones so they can find their, their own voice, find a community, and make their careers. We've been an incubator of emerging talent for a long time helping with distribution, the, 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 the finance, production. It's a full 360 service operation that's ready to help the challenges of being an independent filmmaker today. At the other end, we have the Art of Services, which helps uh, directors and their films find new audiences through, through streaming and to let, 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 let the films carry on after the festival. Um, the importance of this can't be overstated for us. This is our, our, our core mission, and it means the world to us. So as a programmer, I get asked a lot of questions, and one of the most common one is that hair, why? <laughs> the other one is, why don't you take the film that I made? And the third is, how many films do you get to see a year? And I see about five or 600 films per year, 
not including what I see in the cinemas on my own, not including what I see on planes. And when you think you've seen it all and you're bored and it's all been done, something jumps out and grabs you on the throat and doesn't let you go. And it's new and it's emotional and it's, it's fresh in a new way. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps the industry going. That's what keeps the festival going, is this need to find new emerging talent that's, that's actually new and has something fresh to say about, about, about the world. Um, Sundance has been around for one generation and it's become internationally recognized because we look for the fresh and the new and bring it to you on an international stage. Um, the Institute was one of the first to embrace HD as our standard format in, in, the, uh, in the festival, one of the first to have online film festivals, one of the first to engage in, in, in trying to connect filmmakers with online streaming programs. But this year, we have the 10th anniversary of the New Frontier program, which is our home of new media and storytelling. This is like, uh, one of the greatest risks that we've taken, but has, been, has paid off hugely. It's, the, it's uh, one of the earliest things that we did at New Frontier was to bring, bring story-based virtual reality-enabled filmmaking uh, to an international platform. Uh, it's, it's, it's done quite well, and the risk is worth it. Today, uh, more than ever, pioneering artists need a home to take risks, creative risk-taking. They need support, mentorship, and community to complete their stories and make it their own. Um, we've been doing that for o over 30 years, mind, body, and soul. I'm thrilled that you all have chosen Park City to make your, your, your home for, for the next few days. And between the parties and the cocktail receptions, and from experience I can tell you, you can live on canapes for up to three days. <laughs> then the liver packs up, I learned that the hard way. Um, between that, please go see some films. See one film a day, because you might find the big breakout film, the best new director coming up that no one's heard of, or see a film that'll just blow you away, so that when I'm done, you can have something to talk about when you go back on Twitter. I mean, Tinder. Thanks so much. <laughs>